Apple iPhone 16 with the new redesigned back. It is going underwater now. The iPhone 16, like the iPhone 15 previously, I did a video on the 15 last year for the water resistance test. This one also is IP68. After submerging the device, I can see one bubble near the front speaker. On Apple's website, it says rating is IP68, maximum depth of 6 meters to 30 minutes only. I thought initially it was 1.5 meter like previously, but it seems like the water resistance on these newer iPhones, the 16s, has been increased slightly. So the device is underwater for more than 5 minutes now and I need to move the device around. If not, it will not be like a real world water resistance. If you go into a pool water, despite not recommending that with your device, you're going to move the device around. If you go into beach waters, beach salt water, you're going to move the device around. So this is the primary reason why I move the device around in order to mimic what is going to happen if anybody goes underwater with their device. The device is not going to be static. It would be in a dynamic environment. So new iPhone 16, new feature. This year we have the camera controls. Underwater, the camera controls is halfway working because you cannot zoom. You cannot do any swiping gestures. Swiping up or swiping down does not work. The only thing that you can do is press, halfway press, and that's it. Press, keep holding the camera control button in order to start recording a video. Apart from that, you cannot zoom nor do any of the swiping gesture in order to change the mode or all those stuff. So the best thing at least with this iPhone 16, you can jump inside water and then press the camera control button in order to activate the camera and press it again, keep holding to film a video. Okay, since the screen was off, I needed to remove the device out of the water in order to go inside the device again and have the chronometer on. So this is what I'm just doing and also looking around and seeing if there is any water leaking from the device. It seems like this device is really good. There is no water that I can see leaking, like heavily leaking from the device. The iPhone 16 is back underwater and I kept moving the device around until I hit the power button again. So I'm going to remove the device out of water and have the screen with the chronometer, the time, and then just have the device back underwater as soon as possible. This time I didn't look around for water. 15 minutes already, the iPhone 16 has been underwater and it seems to be fine. There is no issues with the screen nor the cameras. I do not see a lot of bubbles forming around the cameras also, which is a good sign. And not having a lot of bubbles coming from the device also is a very good sign. With modern smartphones like the iPhone 16, you can go inside pool water and take pictures and all that and the device is going to be fine. But the manufacturers are not recommending that you you go inside any water that has chemicals. I personally can go inside the pool and take my pictures and the device will be fine later. The best thing that you can do after that is to rinse the device with normal water, clean water, drinking water. This is going to prevent and wash away all the chemicals that are on the surface of your device. So the same thing goes for beach water. It has a lot of salt concentration and any other water with chemicals. 30 minutes already, the iPhone 16 is still on. I just remove it out of water and I'm going to test the screen to make sure that the screen is responding normally and I do not have any issues. So it has been 35 minutes that the device was underwater previously and the screen is working flawlessly. There is no issues with the screen and I do not see any notification for the water inside the charging port. I believe with these new iPhones you need to plug the charger and then you're going to see if there is water, which is a little bit backward of how to prevent a water damage having water inside your charging port. So now I'm going to shake the device having the charging port at the bottom and the speaker at the bottom. And you can see that there is water coming from the speaker and also water is coming from the charging port. For me, this is the best way to push all the water out of your smartphone, especially at the bottom of the device where we know that the loudspeaker is designed to take some water whenever you submerge your device. I do not know why I have this notification, but I'm going to continue with the top of the device, the front speaker. The front speaker is so small that most of the time there is no water going through the front speaker or there is no water 
going inside the phone speaker. But surprisingly, I'm seeing some water near the buttons, the action button and the volume buttons. So I'm going to continue trying to push all the water out of this iPhone 16. While I do that, I can see that there is not much water coming from the device. Most likely, most of the water that was stuck on the buttons and on the speakers have been removed. But it is very strange that the buttons have a little bit of water on the inside. As far as the camera controls button, it doesn't seem like it has any water near it or inside the button. We can say like the iPhone 15 that I did the water test, the iPhone 16 also has the same characteristics. It is IP68 and it is a great device to be submerged underwater. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like and share. I have more videos like this for water resistance test on the channel. Check them out.